Joe Biden examines the Supreme Court's John E. B. Ewer. 6. Decision on presidential immunity. Shedding light on its implications for President Donald Trump's actions. So now, now the American people have to do what the court should have been willing to do, but will not. The American people have to render a judgment about Donald Trump's behavior. The American people must decide whether Donald Trump's assault on our democracy on January 6th makes him unfit for public office in the highest office in the land. The American people must decide that Trump's embrace of violence to preserve his power is acceptable. Perhaps most importantly, American people must decide they want to entrust the president once again the presidency to Donald Trump, now knowing he'll be more emboldened to do whatever he pleases whenever he wants to do it. The rule of law and accountability are paramount, extending even to those at the highest echelons of power. Joe Biden's remarks resonate with this fundamental belief, affirming that no president is above the law. This underscores the essence of democratic values, where the American people play a crucial role in deciding a leader's fate through their votes. This principle is cherished by conservatives, emphasizing the sanctity of free and fair elections. The public's voice is vital in holding leaders accountable. However, there's a growing concern about the potential misuse of judicial power for political ends. Such fears could jeopardize the perceived fairness and credibility of the judiciary, a foundational pillar of our democracy. The public remains vigilant, wary of any actions that might erode this trust.